Hello, this is Bree. This is Lock Booktician, and this is my YouTube channel, and we are doing Vlogmas. So welcome to another day of Vlogmas, and today we're going to talk about five mangas that I like and I think would be really good for people who have been reading mangas for a while. Not beginner, but like intermediate level like you've been reading it for like the last three to four years i would say and these would be some good books to pick up number one is uzumaki this was written by jinji ito and i don't know why i always have to look and look at his name because i pronounced it well before but since people told me i pronounced it good now i keep messing it up i i'm sure i'm not the only one who's felt that way but uzumaki is i'm like looking to see if i can pull it up for you really quick I don't have it in my view but Uzumaki was um the first book I read by this mangaka and y'all it, it it was just the patterns the different stories it's a horror one and it's on page and it's in your face so if you're looking for a manga that has that and there's like patterns to it and there's like different lore and community lore and just things that like just think of a regular story being twisted upside down. That is what Uzumaki is giving with patterns being just the, the general theme throughout the whole manga book. The whole manga. There is just patterns and squirrels and things that you didn't think a pattern could be in and it grosses you out it really does but I do think that it was good and I think I gave it a five star because even though it grossed me out, I was like this was done really well so the next one is Lost London Lad and this was the first manga I read that um the there is a main character that is a black man and this follows the story of this black man who's a detective and then this um south asian man i forget where he's from but he's south asian and he is living in london and a governor official goes missing and he somehow gets tied up in it and the person who is on the case to kind of figure out what happened to this government official is the black man who is the detective. You realize that the black man involvement in this case, in addition to the Southeast Asian man connection to the case, there's something connecting it and there's something that has to do with the guy. So you're like trying to figure out how he got caught up in this, how his roommate got caught up in this and how he's going to stay alive throughout this investigation because it's pretty hard it's pretty hard there's so many moving things happening but i felt like the, the pace felt smoother than um monster written by naoki urasawa it felt just like it just went smoother because the pace in naoki urasawa also it had more text in monster felt like it was just glacial and then in Lost London Lad, it feels like it's an appropriate amount of pace in this book series. And I can't wait till volume four come out because I've already read volume one, two, and three. That's my business. And I'm really waiting for volume four. And this is like a detective type of manga if you're into that. Next one is Mariarty, which is also a detective type of um a detective type of manga and it follows the story of these like guys who kind of band together and they create like this kind of society within themselves to rid the world of capitalistic systems or systems um where the rich really disenfranchise the poor or dischance or disenfranchise people based on their identity and they just go after them and pretty much you know what I mean? But they have Sherlock Holmes who's really good at like reading through the lines. He's really good at deduction. And they're trying to like not be on his radar and kind of like be out of his way. But they are really being faced with like so many different challenging cases and challenging people and so many bad guys in the world that they're trying to infiltrate these bad guys like organizations and really just mess everything up so they can no longer profit off the bodies of poor and marginalized people. I'm really sorry if you hear screaming in this video. My neighbors scream every day. So I'm sorry if you hear that. 
Now the, the next recommendation I'm going to give you um, is called Lock and Key. And let me tell y'all, Lock and Key is twisted as hell. If you're looking for a story where, and it's also on Netflix, but if you're looking for a story where there's this family and they experience the worst kind of grief you can experience, meaning mom lost her husband and the kids lost their dad due to him being killed in, in a very terrible way. So there's this spirit or entities attached to these keys. So after the father or in slash um, partner was murdered, the kids and the mom go to the house that the, that the father was raised in. And while the kids are there, they're starting to hear things, right? They're like, what is this? I'm hearing whispering. I'm getting close. What's happening? And they're being exposed to these keys. These keys have magical properties and being imbued with different things that will give them different abilities. So while they are finding all these keys, there is this other like very dangerous entity that is going around possessing people close to them or possessing them or just trying to be the root of all evil like just trying to make the whole world evil so you're watching these kids trying to save the world while also trying to hide this from their mom and also trying to enlist in the help of other adults or other friends that can help them to get to the bottom of how these keys were made and how they can stop this entity from trying to kill them all so that is the pretty that's the that's the gist of it so but it is it is it is creepy it is messed up there is content warnings for everything for everything so be aware of that when you go ahead and read this book but if you are an immediate level like i said you've been reading mangas and graphic novels for a while i think this is a good just starter for you especially if you're looking for books that are more on the thriller horror side and i'll put that also at the title of this video so you'll see that because i just recognized that that's pretty much what i gave you <laughs> is those type of reviews so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and again all the resources that you need that i've talked about in previous videos is in the description box below and if you have any other resources that you would like for me to add to rather there's resources from tigre or Congo or Sudan please add in the comment section and I will add them to my description box and don't forget to just love yourself and do something today that's just for you and because we always got to find moments for ourselves even in understanding that the world is being unjust and how they are treating people especially brown people so I will see you in the next video bye all 435 seats will be up for election November 5th of 2024 for the U.S. House. And there will be 33 of 100 Senate seats up for elections November 5th, 2024. All of this will be happening at the same time as the presidential election. Meaning, if you're so focused on who is going to be the president and you're not focused on who's going to be supporting the president and his policies he's trying to get passed to benefit the things that you stand on, you're missing the point of the political process. Please research your candidates and their policies in your respective states so that you're not out here being foolish and only focusing on the presidential election. Because those who are in power of making laws need to make sure that they get to his desk to pass them. And if you don't have the support that the president needs in the legislative branch, you're going to be stuck. If it's up, then it's stuck. It's going to be stuck. Get it together.